Okay, greetings. Um, this is a um, very short video on to on how to demonstrate how to use the uh, radio in the back for either listening to channels or for uh, DF. Um, this also comes on the back of um, the Dambusters raid that we did, um, which was actually last night because now it's Sunday morning, um, as an investigation to find out why the DF didn't work in that. And I find out the reason why, which I'll explain in a second. This is a good point to note for everybody that um, puts DF, for example, into missions. So we're in a mosquito. Okay, it's cold and dark. Um, this is so easy, it is untrue. Right. So, excuse me, because I'm having to use um, clunky um, views. So, if you have a look on the right wall, we're looking down here. You can see there's a brass fitting, and we've got these two plates. Um, well, first thing we want to do is we want to turn on our electrical power, because nothing's going to work until we, we turn this fella on. So, I'll just turn that on. And then, these, um, there's three switches. This one here needs to come forward, and you can only do that from the navigator's position. So, and I'm going to just click it behind because it's behind this brass fit in here so uh, in the, I'm, just, I'm going to click on it but I've got to do it just trust me I'm clicking on it so it is just there and it's forward next thing we need to do this is very dirty so um, please excuse the uh, thing we'll drop this so we can see what's going on okay next thing this is your transmitter this is your receiver we need to turn on the transmitter so we just click that onto standby. Bosh. You can hear everything powering up. I'm just going to adjust my view a little bit. Uh, which way do I need to go? Which way is There we go. And then I can zoom in a little bit for you somehow. Uh, there we go. Okay. So... Uh, ultra quick, ultra simple. Um, I don't know really too much what these do, to be fair. I haven't really played around with them. That's the volume. So if there's any sound files, you can add the volume up um, if you don't want to listen to it because it'll only loop. So just switch it off as need be. That I'm not too worried about. This is important. This is important. This is important. So it's basically just these these three things, or well, four things if you exclude, well, if you exclude the, this, the volume. It's just these three things here. This, because this is a valve set, um, it switches between different frequency ranges, which is uh, identified by these colours. And you can see the frequency ranges that are covered by each band, by each toggle of that switch. Okay, will dependent on which frequency you know, you're able to pick up. This just determine this and this and then we use this to tune, which I'll uh, explain in a second. It's dead easy, and and then we use this on how um you know how we're going to sort of like receive or display the information or receive the information. Um, the only really um two settings we're going to want is this little dot means it's omnidirectional, right? So we'll pick it up wherever's, and then visual means that using this system we can transmit it through to the cockpit. To get our visual clues, cues, I should say, to where we're going to go. Right. So to be fair, if you're using it for DF, you're always going to be want to be on visual. Right. So we've got our radio turned on. Happy days. So um, how do we tune this in? Right. So I've set up a, I've set up a, uh, a beacon just off to our right. Okay. And it's on uh, 700, 700 kilohertz. Okay, which is actually, if we have a look here, you can see 700 is here. And you can see it's on the black band. But you've got a black band up here. But it's not a black band. This is a black and blue. So you can see here on the selector, it's got black and blue. Then we've got red and blue. And then we've got the pure black. Right, so we want to go to black. Now all we need to do is we need, to, if I just move this, I'm going to switch here. You can see that we've got a turny roundy. Um, leave, um, this is obviously where you're going to be tuning into. When you go in cold, this will be all the way down here, all right? So you'll have to move it around. So we're going to sweep this round uh, towards the 700 kilohertz. Now you can you can hear it, but it's not perfect. So what we can do is we can, and I can I did that like with that one there. That's coarse. This one is very very fine adjustment. 
right? So you could be and we'll fairly close, but not close enough. But then what I'll do is you can use this one. The attacks were pressed home from a very low level with great determination and coolness to tune in it in. And then this fella up Eight here, to be fair, will, um, also, it's like a signal strength indicator. You can see how it's how it's going, how it's how it's changing. In the early hours of this morning, so we've got that there. Of right. command, led that's as hard as this gets, just to Gibson, receive. All we're doing, this is not DF at the moment, this is just receiving a signal. The right. the and um, if we wanted to turn this into a These DF, <coughs> of the me, of the we need to do a couple of things. You can see at the moment our needles, they ain't doing anything. So what we need to do is, in between these two radio sets, the there's this thing the here, we need to turn this to DF. Okay, I'm just going to turn the volume the down on that because we don't need to listen to the sound. And then we need to turn this, because again, look, nothing's happening. So what we need to do is we need to turn this to visual because we want visual clue cues. And now you can see our needles are starting to move. All right. Uh, there you go. Hopefully you can see that because I notice it's not going to probably come out too well on the video. So because obviously the, this needle is pointing more to the right, this is the, basically where these cross is telling you where the um, where the station is. So it's 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 basically off to our right. So if I look out, I don't know if this is going to work. No, he's he's out here somewhere. I think I'll put him behind this building, or just just over here somewhere. But trust me, he is there. So that's where the um, that's where the station is, right? So it's really dead easy. Power on. Click that little switch that's um, just down there, and then I'll show you in the cockpit in a minute where where that is. I'm probably going the wrong way. This is a dirty video. All right, turn that fella on. Go straight to DF, and then select the band that you want, and then tune it in. Right. Why didn't we pick it up last night? Okay, it was working, but it was on a very it was on a higher band. Right, higher frequency so that means the wavelength of that frequency okay was was actually very fine so you you would need to do very very fine adjustments um, of the tuning um, dial to be able to pick it up right to be fair in my personal opinion it's way too high way too high because it's it's if you have a look at this if I just turn this fella up I'll show you that in a minute actually um, right I left it on the original frequency okay um which was um kilohertz i'll show you when it's program how we program in a beacon in a sec um but this one was um we just tuned into was 700 kilohertz um i think this one would be um 10 megahertz so what we actually want now is tune on to this one so you can see that 10 is there so we're on the black blue so we need to go to black blue on this clunky thing here then we need to turn this dial. Now I'm using the call. I'm using it on my hardware, but you can you can see this. I'm just fine tuning it. It's fine fine turning the thing, but it's like very coarse. And we're just sweeping through it. There's an out there. Just make sure that's turned up more away. There's nothing there. But look at this fella up here. It's flicking. It's saying there's something there. There's something there. So what you need to do is get Reconnaissance. Oh, I was on it, but that was a fluke. So if you're close, what you can do then is use the fine tuning. And the power station below and we're on it. Swept away by the resulting but flood. if you just breathe on it, unless it's absolutely spot on, and you're not going to get it. That's, I'll be honest with you, that's a bit too high was reported in that breached. frequency band. If we go back to the black the river one, below the Okay, and then sweep it round. I'm just using the coarse lever, and in fact, I'll use it on there, and you can see how coarse this is. You start to pick it up there. So you've got a really, really wide sweep. So it makes it makes the user. Bearing in mind, you're going to have to be flying when you do. If you don't, sit, you can set it on the ground, but you might have to change frequency because you might go to one beacon, then to another, then to another. You know, and when you're doing that, you know, you're trying to do it and look out the window at the same time. It's very challenging. So in my opinion, um, it's down to the individual, but in my opinion, I think you're better off staying to the kilohertz wave band. 
and I'll show you how we set that up in a sec. So all you need to do is sweep that round. And then what you can do is we've got the air, which controls the headwaters of the Vesa and Fulda valleys, and operates several power stations. Was also attacked and was reported as breached. Let's go back to that one. Uh, see now, look, I'm, you'd think I'm pretty much on it, but I'm not. So I'm gonna have to fine tune it. Face of just resistance. Eight of the Lancasters are missing. There you go. That's that's a faff, especially this if you're flying low London. level. So if the we have Air a look Ministry now, have just issued the following communique. Just In so the that, early that hours of this morning, a force of Lancasters of Bomber actually. Command, led by Wing Commander G. P. Gibson, so, DSO DFC. Uh, DSO DFC. The dams of the Myrna and Sauber Reservoir. Let's turn that down on the hardware. Isn't it? There we go. Right. So in my opinion, yeah, stay out of those bands. Stay on the the kilohertz um, wavelength. Okay. So just before we um go and have a look how we do that, let's just go back to the cockpit, the pilot's position, and. Have a look over on the right. You can see now that's the switch there and it's switched forward. Unfortunately, you can't click it. You have to do it from the navigator's position, but it is what it is. Right, so jump into the... Oh, for crying out loud. Jump into the navigator's position. Right, mate, obviously power is going to be on. Switch that fella forward. And then, however you do it, it's really awkward in VR, but I just like really whack my head around to the right and then... Uh, uh, center the view and it's fine turn that one on the standby more often than not you're going to want to go straight to df so you can put the because you can get, pick up the sound anyway with df and so you like even my bbc news um stuff or path age stuff you can you, that's an ndb or a beacon you can just pick it's a transmitting station but you can turn that into a direction finding if you have it on normal you all you'll get is the rate you know you'll just get the, the order the audio you won't get any um direction finding because you need to bring in the the other equipment um, so put that into DF, um, find out the frequency that, that, that you know you're going to want, which in my missions it will be in a brief, and then you say, okay, we want 700, that's on black, turn that to black, turn that round, and you don't even need the volume up, to be fair, you can see that that's like um, way off there, but it's coming in, and then turn that up, in the face of fierce resistance. and away we go, right? So that's how, that's how you basically use this radio. And if you just want audio, you can leave it in omnidirectional. But as I said, if you want DF, you must be in visual. Um, right. So how do we set this up? So if we come out of that. I'm just using John's mission that we did last night. So um, right. Okay. So where are those becomes? Right. There's one there. Right. This is the one we used last night. Right, and you can see here it's um, it's it's all on the AM, but you can see here it's it's this is uh, 10, way too high because the adjustment is just so fine it, you can miss it, you know. So to set it to kilohertz, we just need to put make it point. Okay, so for instance, this is the one I just put in for a test. So you can see here I set it to 0 0.7, so that's like seven hundredths. All right, um, on the on the on the um. On the AM wave band, this when you create it, you can see it's just set a frequency. It, it defaults at uh, um, 100 watts, um, which is still quite a bit of power. But but 1,000 watts is a lot of power. My BBC broadcast, I want I wanted people to be able to pick it up over the whole map to to a degree. So it's like it's quite high. Um, just bear in mind, this is like this is things are going to affect your DF when you're flying around. If you're low level curvature of the Earth, if you're out of the the donut of the you know broadcast because the signal comes out like a donut from the transmitter, and if you're underneath that you know area of coverage, you're not you're not going to pick up any audio, or it might go. <coughs> right, radio effects on this are stunning. It works just like a real radio, and with the you know with the effects if you're not in exactly on the frequency, um so you can be out of frequency, um you could be out of range, you could be you know curvature of the earth all that all that good stuff and you could be too high you know it, it really does work really really well but don't expect to turn it on and for you to pick it up anyway because it don't work like that okay down and dirty hope that's ex explained it um and you understand it try it the what's his name mission there's loads and loads of beacons in my northern mission right you can go around and, and practice some navigating 
dead easy. We're going to use it all the time. Learn it. Happy days. Auf Wiedersehen.